And a very good morning to you, gang. It's Friday the 9th of June, 2017. What a mess! <laughs> I love it! Boys and girls, I am officially... I am officially going to tell you something now, boys and girls. After watching the absolute total and utter chaos that now stands on a very long road before us, I've decided to jump ship. I'm coming out today as telling you I am jumping ship, boys and girls. After watching everything that's been going on the last two months, I've decided to jump ship and I am no longer supporting the Eurovision Song Contest. I am in future going all out for elections. They are much, much more exciting. <laughs> I love it. What an absolute total mess we are in now. I didn't think it could get any worse. <laughs> Oh, God, what's happening now? <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like it? I am now fully supporting as many elections as possible because they are so much more exciting than the Eurovision Song Contest. I have swapped ships, but well, what did you think I was going to say? Huh? <laughs> Poor Teresa! It's all gone terribly, terribly wrong, hasn't it? Now, coming up in the show... Very soon, I won't make you wait ages and ages, OK? We have the very first of our car karaoke's coming up soon, OK? And we've got a name for it as well now. We've got a name for it as well, although that's not mentioned within the show itself because that kind of came afterwards. Kingdom Karaoke. Kingdom Karaoke is coming your way in the next 10 minutes or so. But first... <laughs> I can't believe it! I've got to be honest, I didn't turn the telly straight on last night at 10 o'clock, <coughs> which I intended to do, because I'm off Thursdays now. No more late nights for me. Thank you very much. Although I could take on a little job Thursday. If you've got anyone, you know, wants a, a cap, not too late, dear. As long as it finishes by midnight. If you know anyone who wants a karaoke night or a quiz night on a Thursday, I am now available on Thursdays or maybe Tuesdays as well. One or the two, you know, because I'm kind of, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps I shouldn't take a night. I don't know. But uh, yeah, a, a little karaoke night or a quiz night. I'm available Thursdays now. So if anyone wants one of those, OK, let's say good morning to some of the people this morning. Good morning to Tanya Sheridan. Good morning, uh, Tanya. Uh, Gustav says, uh, good morning. Praise the Lord. An emergency broadcast live from the Mirabal bunker reporting to the world. Here we are. We are begging for help today. Uh, we will. We are. Just a moment, please. The phone's ringing now. Just a moment. Hello? Ah, oh, Mr. Putrid, how are you? Yes, yeah. Why are you laughing? Please don't laugh. Don't take the mic. You want to do what, Therese? No, I don't. Such a rude man, dear. He really is. Oh, dear. This is an emergency. We did do, had to, we had to do an emergency broadcast last night. The entire system was fired up so quickly there weren't even any lights on in here. An emergency broadcast to the world. I'm here just to tell you we are clinging on here. We are clinging on. I've got some predictions coming up in a minute. Uh, good morning to Danny Sun. Good morning. Love the intro music. Thank you, Danny. I have noticed on our intro music there's a little bit of a glitch which has started appearing. Has anyone else noticed that? It appears at about... A minute 30, a minute before it's due to end. And it's kind of... Have you noticed that? So I don't know what's occurred there. I might have to remake it and put it up there. I mean, you can't damage an MP3 file, can you? Somehow? I don't know. Very, very strange. Good morning to Ray. Morning, Ray. Uh, Ray's with us as well this morning. Lovely Ray B. You off to? I think you must be off again today, are you? Uh, Danny says you have to laugh or else you'll cry. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Alan says that's the best opening to a show I've ever seen, Giggling Night Crazy. <laughs> a Eurovision out. Elections in. We need an election every year. Absolutely. <laughs> we do need an election every year. Or who was the miserable bastard on BBC One Colour? Uh, who, who is it? Jonathan Dimbleby. He could be. Is it Jonathan Dimbleby? He could be smiling a bit more, couldn't he? 
I did watch uh, quite a lot until about I think I think about one thirty on the telly. <clears throat> uh, to be fair, you can't really tell who's going to win at one thirty. You know, you've got to give it till about four o'clock in the morning. I wasn't waiting up that long. But I flicked across some of the channels. Uh, the BBC coverage, excellent, I thought, excellent. ITV coverage, I mean, why did they bother? Who was the bloke who was in charge? Never seen him before. <laughs> it was just like, it was like they, it was slung together at the last minute. Dreadful, the ITV coverage. The Sky News one, well, Sky News is Sky News. It's always roughly the same, you know, that was OK. But the BBC was the best one for me. Um, Jonathan says, we are all doomed. We're doomed. We're all doomed. Yes. <laughs> Danny Davis this morning. Good morning, Danny. Uh, who says, we're in a mess. God help us. Yes, we are. I gather that you've got a new place to live. So uh, good luck with your move there, Danny. Excellent. Yeah, can, may I ask what you've got and, and how much you pay up there in Wrexham? I'm interested because I'm a landlord myself. Um, <laughs> I'm sure we're about to be taxed to the hilt again. <laughs> There's going to be nothing left. we got nothing left. It's a good job I'm here to keep you all smiling and tickling you with my very long finger. Morning, Rory. Um, Danny watched the alternative election on Channel 4. I flicked across to that, Danny, the, with, um, oh, what's his name again? Paxman. Uh, but he, what was it? He, he he was laying into someone. I thought, oh, I can't be bothered to listen to you. I switched it. I was there about two minutes and I switched back to BBC One. Colour. Because we have colour here in Berkshire. Be it, this is a, we're, con we're continuing to have a conservative people here. That's why we've got colour. Perhaps where you are in your constituencies, you're, you're, perhaps you've only got black and white there. Do you have Labour councillors by any chance? Because they cut back, don't they? <clears throat> <laughs> They've cut back on the colour. <laughs> black and white only <laughs> in London from now on. Uh, Danny's got a room in a house, £300 a month. Oh, that sounds dear to me. £300 a month. Ray says my teddy could do a good job. I'm sure he could. Anyway, we'll have another little look at that in a minute. But I don't want to keep you waiting. We have now recorded our very first car karaoke, boys and girls. You know I've been talking about this for some time. We have at last done one. And it was actually easier... <coughs> than I thought it was going to be. What I did is I got the, the person, who will remain nameless at this moment, to sing, played a bit of music in the background. I thought I was going to have to bring the thing back into here and redub the music over so it sounds a reasonable quality. But actually, living, listening back to it, it's come out quite well. So, boys and girls, please enjoy... Oh, and by the way, thank you those of you that are sharing the video uh, today's video on your wall that is always always appreciated and it's very kind of you to do so okay so thank you very much for that so here comes our very first car karaoke and we have a title for it although it's not mentioned within the karaoke thing because i hadn't this we, we still couldn't decide what it was going to be but i've thought of a name now we're going to call it kingdom karaoke we did a little test broadcast last night because as you probably noticed, the last couple of days, the audio and video were being completely out of sync. So my mouth would be moving. <clears throat> You've got to turn like that, you see. And it wasn't happening. I think I fixed that now. And while we were doing it, I did give people a tiny little five second sample of what you're about to say. So here we go. Episode one of Kingdom Karaoke. <laughs> It's our first car karaoke. I still haven't got a proper name for this. I don't know what we're going to call it. But you're wondering who's going to get in the car, aren't you? Let us commence. In you come. Who could it possibly be? What star, what international celebrity could it be about to get into my car? Oh, oh, here, oh, oh, here he is. It's best friend Ron. How are you, Ron? Oh, are you oh, excited on this on this inaugural inaugural test for our car karaoke? I haven't got a title for it though. Car karaoke. Someone suggested fun car karaoke. That was Mark, one of our karaoke singers. Can you think of anything good? Sing along a Chris. And I can't find anything. What what word with karaoke? What rhymes with karaoke? Mariochi. 
Um, Madness karaoke. Karaoke, karaoke, karaoke. Karaoke, karaoke. Karaoke, karaoke. Karaoke, karaoke. We like that. We like karaoke, karaoke. Thank you. That's excellent. Now, before we set off, uh, just in case you don't know the words to your selected song, which will me remain a mystery until we finish talking. Notice we're not moving at the moment, because I'm not going to be able to look down there while I'm driving, you see. Must keep my eyes in front of me. So you need to watch that. Okay? So here are your words to your selected song. Okay? There's the words to your song. Oh, how long is it? Now, do you know where to come in, dear? Yeah, kind of. Right, okay. So that's that. Now, you see that there? Right, where it says that, because I mustn't touch anything while I'm driving, because I get into trouble otherwise. I've seen how they, you know, you know who does this, but she don't do karaoke. She does political interviews. Victoria Derbyshire, you know the posh one on BBC News Twenty Four. No. Boo, boo, boo. That one. Mm, you no, don't know. No. You don't know. I've not seen it. No. Oh, okay then. Not to worry. You don't look very well today. You're not well. Lovely. I'm not well. No. Oh, what's wrong? Do you don't want touch cuddles? Me. No, I don't. Cuddles. Darling. That's even worse. Cuddles from Chris. Right. Let's get on with this. Do you want little cuddles? Let's cuddles. get on with this. Okay, well, the engine is running. As you can hear, it's silent because we have a hybrid half electric car. And let's go! We're not going to sing yet, dear. Why? I'm going to talk first. Talk about because what? Because you've just had one of my excellent sin free dinners, haven't you? What, egg and chips? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no, not quite egg and chips. Do you think we can open the window? Without it causing too much trouble. Well, I, I think it'll make. Oh, you're cold, aren't you? I'm freezing. It's very, very cold. I can't believe you're freezing today. Oh, look, that's the next car I would like. Uh, oh, what, the, uh, the Land Cruiser. Toyota Land Cruiser. That won't get in the garage, though, would it? No. Well, no, it's not getting the garage. No. Anyway, so he's just had a sin free dinner. Well, not which quite, because can... I had a can of tango. Oh, yeah, you had the tango. Yeah, six sins. Six sins on a can of tango. You know, you're only allowed 25 a day. Not that you are on the system yet. Where are we going first? I don't know. Well, I want you want to go to the chemist, don't you? I need to go to the chemist. I need Surgery. To pick up is that drugs. my chemist? Yes. No, it's my, our, my chemist. Our chemist. Well, that's only around the corner, isn't it? Mm, well, should we go around the long oh. way. Okay, well, go, we'll go around the long way. You don't want to come to Waitrose, do you, Not today? really, no. Oh, look at these two. Cuts. Shall I let them cross uh. the road? Go on, my darling. Oh, look, we're little, little people crossing the road. What has she got on? Good <gasps> Those jeans are a bit tight for someone in her shape. Look at her age with those tight jeans on, dear. Mm -hmm. Mind you, my jeans aren't tight anymore. Not since I've lost the weight. Not that well, I like to go on about it, dear. You're not, you're not that far down the road yet, <gasps> Excuse me, if you noticed my swimming shorts this morning, they were actually hanging off that, me. Maybe that's because okay, you were pulling them down loose. and you no, I wasn't. didn't tie them up. No, I wasn't. I haven't had to do that string up for a long time. No, Today, please. I've had to do the string up at the top. Anyway, so the dinner we had, Tell him, tell him what I did, yeah? He cooked it, roasted potatoes in the oven and No, egg. chips. It, well, yeah, they're like chips, they're wedges. So you, yes, wedges, and how do I do that? You just spray the tin with that oil stuff and throw them in the oven, rosemary and garlic. Very nice indeed, wasn't yeah. it? And do you feel hungry? No. no. And, and two eggs, done. which he never eggs. done in, a, in an egg eggs. pan. Eggs. I can't What's understand that. Why would you not do them in an what egg do you pan? What mean not done in an egg pan? Well, an egg pan. An egg pan is what you cook eggs in. You you done them in a frying pan, which you would do omelets and stuff in. Obviously, you don't own an egg pan, which is well, a small one. It's just a frying pan. What's the difference? What is an egg pan? It's to cook eggs in. So what have I got? A frying pan. A frying What's the pan. difference? Just the size. Well, mm. well, it doesn't make any difference yeah, then, it does. does it? Of course it does. The egg pan, it makes the egg nice and oh. a little browned. Did you like your eggs? Yeah, that was okay. Because you don't, I like to turn mine over to make sure they're all cooked mm. properly. Disgusting. Although I must admit, I, it was a bit too long and by then they'd gone solid. But that's okay. Mm. Solid mm. as a rock. Da da but da that's da, not da, the song. da. That's not the song you're doing today. So no. we've had the eggs and uh, now you're going to chemistry. And strawberries. Do... Yeah, when we eventually get there with. I mean, how fast are you actually going? Six miles an hour? 30 miles an hour in a 30. So... Look at her! What's that on her head? Oh, it's her hair. It's her hair. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's some funny people around today. What about the bloke on the telly with blue hair? Did you see him? Oh, it, no, it was, a, it was a woman. People. It was a woman, she, and it was, she was a Lebanon. Yeah. Just remember, when you're when we're recording this, we haven't had the election yet. We've both voted, haven't we? We've done yes. our little votes. I voted, I voted days ago. I voted you postally. Got the postal vote. And postally. I, um, I took a little trip there. I was surprised how busy it was. It's not usually that busy when I go down there. I got there around about... Take a left. 11, 11.30. And um, oh, there was already lots on. of people in there, weren't there? Oh, well. <sighs> right. Have you got anything to talk about, then? Well, not really, no. You've kind of said it all. Oh. 
Well, I'll try and leave a few gaps here and there in case you want to interject. Well, every I'm time I kind of you, you interrupt me. Okay, carry you're on. You're an interrupter. I'm not going to interrupt now. But you, you are on. an interrupter. You carry on. Well, no, let's carry on about. I've got nothing. You've already told them what we had for lunch. Or go back a bit further, tell them something else. Oh, what, that I, I, that I couldn't do very well in the pool today. How did you do at school? When you was at school, was you a good boy? Oh, God, no. Wasn't you really? No, I was very naughty. Go on. No, very bad. I can't tell you the things <laughs> that I used to do. It's What's arrestable. The... What? arrestable. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, it can't very, be. Very arrestable, yeah. What, primary school? No, um, no just All right, after. Go back further to primary well, school. Well, I can't remember that far back. Oh, go on. It's only, it's only a few years, I know. But What? Yeah. You are 44 years old, I'll let you know. I am not 44 years old. Don't let old. me remind you of that, my friend. Mm. Mm. That we're going past the swans now. There's no There's swans no there. Swans today. They've all they gone. All today? They've all gone. Oh. All grown up and, sw- and flown away. Oh, well, the worst thing I did at school, I locked a teacher in her office in primary school. That was when we lived in Peckham in South East London. Oh, she was going mad. And then I hid in the toilet. <laughs> what, the girls' toilet? <laughs> no. It was like... I can remember well, the primary school toilets always stank, didn't they? they neutral, new, gender toilets. neutral toilets. Gender yeah. neutral toilets. What a load of old pony. Yeah. yeah. So if if you decide, if any time, if you decide now you don't want to be called a man, I want to be called a woman, then we have to call you a woman now. What a yeah. load of old rubbish. What a load of old pony. But the funny thing is, is if I wanted you to go a bit faster, you wouldn't, because you like doing seven miles an hour. Why would we need to go any faster? <laughs> I'm trying to slow down, because you want to go to the chemist, and we're nearly there, and we ain't done the song yet. Well, that's because you don't stop talking. Oh, I'd say. OK, are you ready to sing your song? Um, yeah. Right, you see, look on the little screen down there. Yeah. OK? What's Push the, the bit that says... wiggling around? Can we take this down? That, that's my rosary beads, dear. Can we take it down? Jesus is protecting me. From what? Oh, hell, Redeemer King, divine. Why is there a cure traffic behind me? Because you're doing six miles I'm an hour. I'm not doing six miles an hour. Look, can you see? For that, I'm going to take you around a long way now. Oh, no, don't take me around a long way. I want to go no, home. Well, right, push I'm that tired. button. Sing your song, then. Okay. Sing your song. Have you got the words ready? Do you want me to bring you in? Because you'll probably get lost. Well, Would you like me to count ready? you in? One, two, three, is four, or something. Yes, just push that button there, darling. Right, here we go. Right, working, here we go. It? Here we go. Turn it up a little bit. Right, she does the chorus first, all yeah. right? Uh, it was a man that sang this, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. Ready? Can they hear? Can they hear this? Of course they can hear it, dear. Da, da. Here we go. And four. She afraid to come out of the locker. Sing up, dear. She was as nervous as she could be. Get your hand off me. She was afraid to come out of Get the locker. Get your hand off me, you puff. She was afraid that someone would say, two, da, three, da, four. Da, 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 da. It's the bitty, teeny, weeny, yellow it, polka, no, wait, wait, you've gone too fast. That's polka, what you want for the turn today. Da, 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 it's an itsy, wait. itsy, 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 yellow polka, dot bikini. So in the locker, she wanted to say, two, three, four. Do you want more? Oh, first two. She was afraid to come out in the open. She was afraid to come out in the open. So a blanket around her she wore. She wore. She was afraid to come out in the open. The open. And so she sat bundled up on the shore. Ba, Two, ba, three, ba, four. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. She was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny. The teeny weeny yellow, yellow polka dot bikini. That's what she wore for. Oh, I'm not very good at this, am I? Carry on, dear. Oh, okay. You're doing very, very well. What are we up to? I don't know if we can have another yeah, verse no, or not. No, no, they no, might have no, switched bikini. off by then, dear. Ba. Three, well, maybe on, I should strip three. or something. No, go, go, oh, don't start stripping oh, for Christ's sake, dude. Oh, now she's out of the water. Hang on. Oh, was that a delivery coming down my road? No wonder what she's going to do. No, she was afraid to come out of the water. No, you've gone completely wrong now. They're not oh. doing another verse yet. I don't think oh. so, anyway. I think this is an instrumental bit. I'm sure there's another verse. Well, what must have been the dance? Well, wherever you got to. Yes. Uh, here we go. Good yellow bikini. polka dot bikini. That's the one. The first time to take. Oh yeah. It's you know where you are, Tim? I haven't got an eye open. I haven't got an eye open. Where I am. Is that it? Not another verse, surely. Oh, bloody hope not. Yeah, another verse. Oh, she was a blanket to shore. From the shore to the water, she yes. She isn't in there anymore. Two, three, four. Left. Left. 
teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. That's what she wore for the first time today. It's a weeny teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. That's what she wore for the first time today. Well, that's it from me. Another chorus. Another chorus. The bikini. Should I go down there? Yeah, you need to go on the. I think we're just slowly, no, we're slowly fading this out now. Well, just push that button to turn it off. Well, no, can't we fade? Oh, it's nearly finished, nearly finished anyway, dear. When it finishes, push that button there, love. Tuesday. Okay, oh, but, there we oh, go. Oh, very, very good. Oh, no, dear. we don't want that on. No, just push that oh, button what, what there, dear. Can you operate? Now, look how they've parked in the yellow That's absolutely disgraceful. This, this one thinks she's going to come out. And, oh, well, look. Like, just park in there. No, that's for taxis. Do I look like a taxi? Well, no. the back end of one. Right. Go around I'm again. I'm going to park in here. Oh. Reverse thrust I'm motor. What, am I supposed to walk? Well, you'll be able to get out from there. What do you mean? What do you mean walk? About 10 seconds walk? Walk? Right, is that enough room for you to get your fat ass out of there? Uh, excuse me, I don't have a fat ass. Don't <laughs> Neither do tell I. me with your love. brush. You do. Look at, uh, look at that one there. Oh, yeah. Oh, and a golf. And we stop the car. Thank you very much for that very interesting 25-minute journey to the chemist, which is How just in the next row. Was that all right? Yeah, that was What did fun. you think of our first little karaoke thing? Go, go to the chemist now. Thank you. Bye-bye. There's a smile and a wave. Did you enjoy that? A very first Kingdom Karaoke. How fabulous is that? And I must say, that was all done in one go. We didn't have to redo anything or anything like that. I haven't had to bring in the, 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 the video into the um, into the, back into the computer and redub music on it. It was just switched on and recorded as I'm very pleased with that there. Very pleased. And uh, there's a lot of people want to want to come and do some of these with us. Um, so you, hopefully over the next uh, few weeks or so, you'll see some more of those uh, various different people doing them when I can find the time to do. Uh, maybe I mean, we don't have to be actually driving around either. Uh, certainly when I go to Central Station, <clears throat> um, the, probably the worst thing you can do after you've parked the car is to actually try and move it somewhere else. Um, because you lose your parking space. So uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with actually just getting in the car and, and recording it like that. So there we are. Hope you enjoyed that, boys and girls. Thank you very much for your uh, messages coming in here. And um, John, let's have a look. Oh, where are we now? Rod Brown says, I knew it would be Ronnie. Of course. Well, you've got to test it on someone not sort of star-like, haven't you? You know, on a non-celebrity, you could test it on a star-like. John Aitken says, what about blokey karaoke? Oh, no, dear. That, that's a bit... No, we, we want some ladies doing it as well. I have a famous lady lined up at some point, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Nathan Vaporboy Edwards. Morning, Nathan. He says, it's like the new version of T.O.W. Ronnie's. <laughs> Morning to Lewis. Uh, Ray says, I'm going to have Spanish omelette, ready-made one. Just put it in my... A, spa, a ready-made Spanish omelette, Ray? Oh, come on. All you've got to do is beat a couple of eggs together. And they're, if you go to Slimming World, um, omelettes and eggs are sin-free, depending on... Unless, of course, you start cooking them in oil and all that business. You want a special pan, Ray. One of those pans, the ceramic pans, a couple of sprays of fry light, that'll sort you out there. OK, John says it was like the horrendous Timmy Mallet. What, me or him? I hope you're not referring to me at that. Pardon? Danny Davis enjoyed that. Good. John says, don't change your day job, Ronnie. And uh, Ray's Teddy was loving it. Thank you, Rod. Glad you enjoyed that. Well, we'll do some more of those. Uh, lots of those, hopefully, over the coming weeks. All right, boys and girls, let's go back to this, um, uh, this, 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 this. Uh, this chaos of a general election that we've just had. Now, it just seems to me, every time we have an election now, it just is going completely wrong. Everything's going wrong. Everything is going wrong. In the mail this morning, um, so much has happened last night. Uh, there's some people, of course, now calling for uh, Theresa May to resign. Um, <clears throat> the thing is with the Conservatives... When their leader, when they're not happy with their leader, they get rid of them very quickly. 
Who can remember those harrowing pictures of poor old Margaret Thatcher being turfed out of her? Do you remember that? Oh, that was just dreadful. She came out crying, didn't she? Awful. I wonder if you was Theresa May, how would you be feeling now? I'd, I'd be gut. I just wouldn't know what to say. I think she's going to be on the telly a little bit later on this morning to make some sort of announcement, but it's, it's really not good. It's really, really not good. Um, Nigel Farage is saying we face now a second possible referendum on the Brexit thing. I, I can't see that somehow. I don't see that happening. I mean, it's possible. Yes, it is possible. But I don't know. I'm very glad to see the back of Alex Salmond. Thank God for that. There is a bit of good news. Oh, I'm so glad to see the back of that miserable git. Goodbye, Alex. Don't come back. And find another job. I don't think Nicola Sturgeon's very pleased either. Is she? <laughs> Good. How dare you try and break up our happy little family. We're all happy together. England, Scotland, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Wales. We're happy together and glad to see... I'm she's upset Nicola old Sturgeon, baby darling. Never mind, Nicola. There's other jobs that you can do, I'm sure. They're always looking for people in Kentucky Fried Chicken or McDonald's. Sainsbury's are looking. I could put you in touch with Sainsbury's, Nicola, darling. You, you and Alex can go and work in Sainsbury's, couldn't you? We'll find you a little job down here, my darling. You'll be very good on that, Teal. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> Who else? Oh, and poor Nick, Nick Clegg. He's lost his seat. Poor Nick, he tried so hard. He's been trying so hard for ages. But poor Nick's out. Terrible. The pound has plummeted. <laughs> if you're going on holiday, I bet you wish you hadn't booked. I told you, didn't I? You should be going on caravan holidays, dear. You don't have to worry about changing your money into something foreign. You just get in a car and drive to your caravan that you've hired out. I'm just about to book another caravan, actually, a week. No, actually, four days. Four days I'll be going, somewhere around September, October. Uh, up near my sister again, £150. It's not bad, is it? £150 I get Monday to Thursday for that. All electricity, all the gas. Wonderful. £150 for a week's holiday. It's not bad, is it, eh? Uh, so that's gone down. I bet the EU are laughing their heads off. Can you just see old Younger sitting there? Ah, <laughs> I bet they are laughing their heads. We are in absolute chaos here. We are in a worse position than we were on Thursday. We absolutely are. There's some people saying, oh, well, we'll all have to work together. Uh, a very good friend of mine, Dawn, actually, uh, she says, well, this is good, but they're all going to have to work together. That won't happen. They will just be arguing left, right and centre. I, I have to say, I think it would be better if, it, it, in my mind, someone needs to win outright, either one or the other. I, I have to say, I think it would have been better for the other to win rather than be in this situation that we're in now. We do not look strong. We are strong. We are not, we are unstrong and unstable. <laughs> dear, dear me. Now, um, there was a very, very naughty video, I have to say, of Jeremy Corbyn <laughs> accidentally touching someone. He was touching someone's breast accidentally. Oh, look, we got a phone call. That's funny, as I haven't even opened the lines. Good morning, who's on the line? Oh, no, no, we haven't. I thought someone was... Oh, there you are. It's Eric Wiltshire. Hello, Eric, in Slovakia. Yeah, how are you? Well, are, are you crying? Got your tissues out? No, but we are in total chaos. Chaos, what? dear. Chaos. It's a fiasco. <laughs> it's just a complete and utter waste of time, Eric. Oh, I'll tell you what, Chris. I was talking to somebody on Facebook this morning, yep. and I said to them this very thing. When will the politicians wake up and realise 
that by doing this, they've screwed up the European deals, they've screwed up the financial services sector, people will leave. And then how do you fund all this NHS growth, et cetera, et cetera, when you're going to have less money than you had in the first place? I don't know what's going to happen now. I've got some projections, Eric. Do you want to know? Go on. Okay. Now, first of all, you know I'm Tory. Yeah, you know I'm Tory. But that's neither here nor there. Don't know what side of the defence you are. You don't have to say if it doesn't matter anyway. So here are my predictions. I'm a bit bit oddball, Chris. Okay. I'll tell you for why. Um, I I think on your programme here, you're entitled to be opinionated. Right. When I'm broadcasting, unfortunately, I'm always in the chair. Yeah, yeah. Which means I have to stay apolitical. Right, and I understand I, that. And I've yep. done that for donkeys and donkeys and donkeys of years. Yep. So I never tell people how I vote or not vote or Fair what enough. I do. Fair enough, yeah, yeah. And I never voice, if you looked on my timeline, you'll see I've never voiced a political opinion throughout the whole campaign. Fair do. Uh, because that's my role in life. Uh, when I retire, I shall have a big mouth then. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What, bigger than it is already, dear? I was waiting for that, darling. <laughs> Perhaps you could take take that job at they got the LBC on the Saturday night. Matt Stadlin, have you heard him? Oh, uh, another non-personality, I'm afraid. Oh, dear. My, my old love of my life, LBC 97.3, the voice of London. Oh, the- and where is it going down the toilet? Is that not doing well? I thought they were doing quite well now. Well, they are, but the the old and I'm, I'm going to sound like an old person, and I don't wish to. No, but you go on. Go on. Some of the people that were there, who were real characters, real personalities, had balanced and opinions, could turn conversations into debates, are just not there anymore. Such as. Um, um, well, obviously, Peter can't be there anymore because that's one of those things that he can't. Mm. Um, and they're, the way that they have restructured it, I mean, I think James on the morning is very good. Right. He, like, he, okay, he really yeah. is very, very yeah. good. Okay. Uh, obviously, our old friend Steve Allen's still there at the moment. We love Steve. And, and, and you know, because I'm an hour earlier I, uh, than you, I still listen to Steve. And he is a fabulous talk show host and entertainer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used um, to like, um, of course, not on LBC, Mike Dickin. Who, who Mike Dickin was he's, wonderful. He's been gone Absolutely. a while now, hasn't he? I never forget. I, 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 he used to have me in stitches with his bone dry sense of humour. And I remember yes. once there was this caller on, and the caller was chatting away, but just as loud as a caller, you could hear this. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> now, listen. <laughs> If you've Listen. got any more than two brain cells in your head, then please call back. Otherwise, don't... And what's going on in that office? Are you putting any call through tonight? Because if you don't, you'll be out on your ear tomorrow morning. Now, do and something you know, in the office and get on with it. Otherwise, I'll come in there and... Do you know who the worst callers were? Eh? Uh, do you know who the worst callers were to LBC? Go on. The journalists. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had, we had one one night who called me and she could not make her printer work on her computer, was lambasting the company because they wanted to charge her something like five pounds yes. to supply a replacement disc to make it work, or a CD, sorry, to make it work because she'd had the, the thing over five years. And I said, so what makes you special over everybody else? So she said, well, I'm a journalist, don't you know? Oh. I said, in which case, goodbye. Yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs> and she stayed there for about five minutes rabbiting to herself. <laughs> Eric, do you just want to tell us, because there might be one or two people who don't know what you do and who you are. Would you just like to tell us what you do and who you are? Uh, I have no idea what I do. My boss says I play, which is probably what I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Like Chris... I have been here for uh, far too many years that we wish to wish to comment on, broadcasting on all sorts of things. I am actually very proud of one thing, though, Chris. Yes. I actually started you doing talk radio. Was that on CMP Radio? Was it? I don't remember. No, before that. What was that? 
Well, when we started doing, you were doing a music program for me on our, the original RTI. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes and yes. I said to you, I think you should do a talk program. Yeah, yeah. Did you know what he said, boys and girls? He said, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I don't think I can talk long enough. <laughs> yeah, listen to him now. <laughs> so, Eric, you run you run the uh, a Slovakian radio station, RTI, don't you? Indeed, and various other ones as well. And you've got television we, we, as well. Is it television something? Television as well, isn't it? We've got TV. We've got actually in the office right now. We have seven TV channels and one, two, three, four, five radio stations running. And you run all that? Yeah. Fantastic. It's good fun, Fantastic. isn't it? But anyway, yeah. more importantly, yes. just to remind you of the topic, when people vote next time because there will be another snap election oh yes 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 that's a fact of life now when they vote next time please when you either go to an accountant or ask somebody to actually rationalize the manifestos and get them checked against the money that's coming in because i'll tell you what will happen otherwise there'll be so much borrowing that you won't be able oh. to afford your holidays abroad if you you'll be lucky if you can get a blinking dustbin to go on holiday in. Yeah. Because the money won't yeah. be there. And the threat now is you have two years. And within two years, if there's not a Brexit deal done, companies will leave the UK. And they will because of the market they're selling to. It's that very, won't, very worrying. Won't, yeah, it won't stop it. Sorry, Chris. It won't stop a deal being done whereby there is some form of free movement of goods because the Germans will insist on that. Mm. Mm, fact, yeah. fact of life. But at the end of the day, you can only have what you paid for. Yes, that that's the one. That's the that's the biggest thing that stops me going red. I don't like the massive amount of borrowing they do in. Now, uh, some people would argue, yes, but you do the same when you borrow for a house. But I don't think you can you can compare the two or two at all, do you? No, you, no, you can't. Because the one thing about that's slightly different about a house is there's an asset value in the house. If you got into serious trouble, you could actually sell the property and everything would be marvellous. Now, when you're when you're borrowing money to grow services like the NHS, there is no way can you sell it back or you end up having to do PPP or something like oh. that, where you end up selling off bits yeah. of it, as happened under Gordon Brown before, mm -hmm. where he was selling off the crown jewels like they were going Oh, the gold. He gave the gold away, didn't he? Gave it away. Yes, absolutely. And nobody has been picking up on this sort of theory throughout the election. I've been watching it, keeping my head up, watching... Oh, oh sorry, to, have you, have you to... left a gap there for me to come in? There was. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, well, oh, he, here hey. are my predictions, Eric, and you tell me what you think about these, right? So, yep. number one, and I have to say, I like Theresa. She, there's just something about her that I quite like. But I think she, at some point she will now have to go. Whether she goes herself or is pushed by her own party, I think she will go. She will be replaced, I think, by Boris. I think Boris will replace her. I think there will be another election in the autumn. I cannot see how they can carry on with such a small majority. Now, people don't understand that. I was just having a conversation with someone the other day, uh, uh, and, and their, their, uh, their take on the, th the whole thing was... But the Conservatives are the largest party. Well, yes, they are. But they've only got to have every, you know, they could come out with another law. Um, all cats are not allowed out after 10 o'clock at night. They might mm -hmm. put that to Parliament and then she, she would put that to Parliament. And then it would only take a few of her own people to say, well, hang on a minute. We're not happy with that. We've got cats. And everyone on the other side says they, they've got cats as well. We're not allowed. And it can't get through. Now, how many times is that going to happen now? I think an awful lot well, of times. So there's I don't... one piece of history there, Chris, that I'll, yeah. I'll throw into the mix. Yes. <clears throat> the, the tie up with the DUP, which is what's going to save the government at the moment, is not a new thing. 
There yes. is nothing special about it. Yeah, yeah. The, the the fact is that the DUP traditionally always votes with the Conservative Party and ha ha have done for decades. Oh, because right, okay. if you look at their manifesto, it's not that dissimilar um, and their thought process is not that dissimilar. And they want a strong Brexit sorted to know about the borders and blah, 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 blah. So there is an option there. But I don't believe that the centre core of the Conservative Party will accept that as they did with the Lib Dems, because the Lib Dems was a per it was a, an official coalition yes. and uh, all signed up. Uh, the uh, DUP's never signed up. A coalition that I have to say I quite liked. Yes. You know, if you've, if you've got one of the main... And let's be, you know, they keep talking about the politics. Of there are two main parties now, Conservative and Labour. Now, when you put the Liberals with one of them, it stops. It stops them going too far to the right or mm -hmm. too far to... The, I quite liked that coalition, but we don't have that now. So are the DUP more sort of right, are they? They're more right. More right than but... the Conservatives? No, about the same area. About the same, OK. Um, but as somebody who lives in a country where there is always a coalition, yes, um, and that's due to the fact that they they don't do a first past the post here, um, it's proportional representation. Which I think but is what, fairer. Yeah, it, mm. well, it kind of is. But you always end up with a prime minister who, uh, or prime ministeress, that... Is, isn't actually the biggest voted for person in the country. Right. However, the, the good side of it is it avoids the far left and far right getting into control where the first past the post would let those very, uh, I mean, th they are nothing short of anarchists on the far left and far right, yeah, yeah. Um, into a, po a political position where they can wield some power. Yeah. So in other words, yes, Slovakia, where I live, is a socialist country. It will always be a socialist country because of its background. But it's socialist to the centre. Right. Right, so that's 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 all right, isn't it? That's all right. Yeah. It doesn't upset too many people the other way. Well, I I reckon an election in the autumn, but I don't reckon there'll be another Brexit vote. I think they're kind of going to go with that. It's impossible. What do yeah, you think? It, 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 to do that, it would open the door for Nicola Sturgeon to have another vote on leaving the UK, oh, and nobody wants that. Christ. Well, the best, but as I said, the best news of the night for me was getting rid of Alex Samland. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never understood what he was in the first place, to be honest, but there you are. <laughs> but I, like you were saying earlier, I, I do have some sympathy for Nick Clegg. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I think he's yeah. a very I... committed uh, or was a committed uh, person to work for the country not for himself. I think you're uh, absolutely right. I feel sorry for him. He's worked damn hard in the last four, five, seven, seven, seven or eight years. Mm. And um, we have a Liberal Democrat chap comes into one of the bars that I work in and he's quite, you know, in the hierarchy, high up. And he said, mm. um, when, when, when the coalition finished and... Nick Clegg was in the office and, and what have you. He said he just looked so drained and tired. He really put everything into it. You know, I yes. don't agree with quite a lot of what he says, but that doesn't matter. He's still a person. He's still a person, you know, and he put a and lot I, into it. I tell you what, Chris, I, I think really he will be respected as yeah. a political commentator yeah. as well. Yeah, I feel really sorry for him. Yeah, I think that's oh, well. where he's going to go. But I, I, I agree with you. There will be another election. Um, they can't bring the old school school back like Ken Clark because no, he old. just couldn't do it. Too old so, now. Yeah, yeah, too old. But so you own the the only real charismatic option they've got, and whether you agree with his charismatic side or not is irrelevant. Uh, the only charismatic person Boris. you've got left is Boris. Yeah, you're, I, I totally agree with you. So you reckon the, you reckon the same as me, don't you? Mm. Yeah, I do. I just, do indeed. Just, and, and I think that will put the fear of God into people in Europe that are not being very polite, mm. um, even though I live here. Uh, and I would have rather have stayed in the first place, but that's that's irrelevant now. The vote was taken. And the, the truth is people currently, they, they forget one thing. If you look back at people, and I'm going to use uh, Napoleon as a great example. 
People used to say to him, but, 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 sir, you've just lost the battle. He said, aha, but I haven't lost the war. That's a good, very good. That's an excellent. If you were running sort of to the top of the hour, that was a, that's an excellent one to come out with, Eric. Yeah. But I don't want you to go yet. I do I don't my want best, you to go I yet. do my best. I don't anyway, want you listen, to go yet because I want to just let, change let, subjects here and see oh. if you've heard of this new... Um, we've got a, a new... <laughs> Uh, radio station on three of the DAB multiplexes here. Upload Radio. Have you heard of it? Mm-hmm. What do you think uh, of it? Um, yes, yeah, can I pass? Claim the Fifth Amendment. You, you, you actually want to pass or you've got a, a comment that you don't really want to say? No, I, I have a problem with this, Chris, because I, I have a belief that... People like you and I are very honoured, very privileged um, to have the broadcasting outlets that we do. Yeah. And I think we have to respect them. Um, and this very morning I was listening to um, somebody calling himself a broadcaster um, who was effing and blinding. Oh, uh, really? On, it, on what is that? Is yeah. it, was that a net station, was it? It was on a net service right. that I was looking at. Um and they were calling themselves broadcasters. And I, and I, I, I cannot, I really do believe yeah. it's an honour and a privilege to, to do broadcasting. Yeah. I also believe that it shouldn't be for just old people. I really resent that. Mm. Uh, it should be for younger people. So with any of the sort of traditional upload things, I know they've got to work with the Ofcom regulations, that's the regulator in the UK, but still the quality of product that is supplied by many uploaders when they think, hey, I'm the next somebody and I'm really cool and hip, <laughs> and actually you're a bunch of rubbish, that's why no record label signed you up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it, I, I just it, think there, there is ways to do things, you know, and some people um, don't and, and we do get it. that. I mean, we do get that here a lot. I, I had one yesterday from uh, Zimbabwe of all places. Oh right, yeah. Uh, and we 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 are we do look after young artists. I mean, we play seven hours of unsigned music every week mm. because I want to. I don't want Phil Collins to be doing the only concert on the planet. Oh, he's not been you know? well, isn't it? Didn't he fall off? Didn't he collapse or fall off somewhere? He, he fell. He fell over, and I think he bumped his nose. Oh, um, right. is that it? I, oh, I had so much respect for that man when he said in Paris, "I am retiring to yet, yet let young people come in." Then, of course, he's had to pay all the other money to everybody so he's back out <laughs> cooking, touring again um no respect phil sorry um, <laughs> but the, the truth is these people believe that when they do some abysmal rap tracks that they should be played on the radio and i'm sorry uh, and i say it to everybody look Go away, go to a proper writer, get a decent producer. And some of these people get very upset. Yeah. But I'm only telling them the truth. Why should I blow smoke up their backside and say, oh, Chris, darling, you've got the most amazing track. It's going to be number one, dear. Doesn't help anyone. Never... Doesn't help anyone. No, no. Better tell them the truth. No, it doesn't help anyone. And in a way... Now, I, I'm not a fan of the, the X Factor, as you know. I don't like four judges sitting there criticising everyone when mm -hmm. when someone's probably been told their whole life, yeah, you're a fantastic singer and all that. and that. Well, they shouldn't have got onto the television. There should ah. have been someone to stop. So when they've spent all their life, maybe it's a child, even a child, you know, from, from the year of four years old. Oh, you're a great singer. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Then they're put on the stage and actually correct. They can't sing and all that. But why mm -hmm. did they get that far? What I don't like is when Simon well, Cowell. I'll, I'll quite give you a rightly... challenge. I want to know the answer. Are you ready? Yes. Because I've actually done this. There's a thing in Europe called Junior Eurovision. Oh, yes. Uh, we've stopped yeah. broadcasting that, haven't we, here for some reason? Yes. I think they did uh, about uh, three uh, and then it stopped. No, it's still going. No, no. Uh, being broadcast in this country. Channel 4 was doing it. That, that's right. But yeah, that yeah, stopped yeah. now. Um, I don't know why. And, and had they kept it going, you'd yeah. have seen me on Channel 4. Oh, um, right, yeah. Because I've been a judge more than once on Junior Eurovision. Okay. 
and you see the parents they they are so that they're almost in a state of panic that their child will get through yeah yeah and and, and you kind of go who is the career in this project the child or, or the mother yes yes and yes. I've, I've i've had i've seen mothers in tears where i've said look i get the i get what your child's got it's got talent but it's got what i would call london show talent mm. they can be they can be in a show they can tap dance they can do all things but they're never going to be at the front they're never going to be the lead and they're never going to have a hit single no. but they're talented in a different way yes now when you say that to people they go oh my god and there was one kid uh, she'd got the most amazing what i call ship entertainer voice she would work well on cruises um and doing you know uh, cabaret Cabaret stuff, cabaret stuff for, yeah. for companies and, yeah. and that sort of thing. Would she ever have a hit single? No. Not a chance. No, no. And, this and is her when, mother was very upset with me. Yeah, so although I don't like that X Factor thing, when Simon tells them, actually, you can't sing, he is actually telling the truth. Yes. And it just is beyond me sometimes where you and I have heard the person singing. OK, you know, they shouldn't have got that far. They, they really shouldn't to me. Uh, that's where the voice is so much better because there are Correct. no bad singers on the voice. They haven't got onto the telly. Of course, by the time they've got on there, they then think. And of course, all the researchers on The X Factor, and I know some of them, have told this person that they are fantastic and they should be on there to get them on. You know, yeah, if you Chris, were to tell Chris, that let me, person... Let me, let me summarise it this way. If, but if you were to tell that person, um, mm -hmm. you can't sing, you're terrible, but you're a bit of a freak, so we're going to put you on the telly, would you go on there? No. No, no. Well, it's like you mentioned net casting earlier on in, in the conversation. Now, you, you are doing a net broadcast, OK? Yeah. Now... You are professional enough, as I am, to know that if you've got two two viewers or listeners, you might as well send them a tape because it'd be a damn sight quicker and a damn sight cheaper. <laughs> the, re the reason United Kingdom Talk works and continues to work, and you've only got to look at your chat room to see it, but it's because you have an audience. Now, if you've got an audience... And you've been doing it as long as you have, and I'm not calling you an old git or anything. The fact <laughs> is, you've managed to keep a product alive as a broadcaster for decades now, and you've reinvented yourself several times to do yes. that. My, my mate David Rosen said that's what you keep doing, uh, although yes. you're not aware of it. You're not, you're actually not aware of that yourself. You're not no, aware that you're doing no. that, but apparently so. Yeah. Yeah, you you, you do. <laughs> now, if you're doing that then in my opinion, you are a professional broadcaster. You are a professional entertainer and you are well within your rights to comment on other would-be entertainers and stop looking at the clock. Um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Eric, it's getting to time. It's getting to time. I know. I'm, I'm, it's all right. I'm watching for you. Don't worry. <laughs> um, so, you know, long may, long may United Kingdom talk work. Long may you get an audience. And just, just by way of a change, you can tell people the way it is and not fudge it. Because yes. the fudging stuff that we get in broadcasting now drives me to distraction. Oh, so you tell it the way it is. It's, I, I will continue to do that, Eric. <coughs> and and right. yet another excellent out moment there. Thank you very the much. Whole, You're very good at In which case, this. we'll go out and I wish you a good weekend, Chris. You, Take you care should be on proper radio, Eric. Cheerio now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There we are, Eric Wiltshire, a um, very good friend of mine for many, many years, and he does a lot in uh, over in Slovakia. RTI RT, is the name of the station here, Radio Tatris International. Some of your messages coming through here, boys and girls. Uh, Rod says, hi, Chris, reference to your caravan holidays. The Sun have good offers on caravan holidays, 9 50 per person. Actually, I've done that already, uh, Rod, yet the last time... 
Now, when did I go? No, the time, the last time, was it the last time I went or the last time before? Can't remember, but I did do a sun holiday, 950 holidays. I actually worked out about 120 quid. OK, don't think because it says 950, it's 950. There's all these additions that seem to appear afterwards. Um, but it is it was cheaper to book through the sun. Although I have to say the particular caravan I got when I booked through a sun. Well, it had central heat in, but but it was that it was a bit tatty. It was tatty. You know, the other ones have tended to be quite good. This one was particularly tatty. Um, although it was still OK. Uh, Rod goes on to say nine per 50 per person, but they stipulate that it must be at least four persons. We pay that or, or only though two of us Friday to Monday, like three days, Friday or Monday makes it cost effective over normal prices. You can pay a little more for gold or silver status, but we stuck to bronze, which is what I did last time. Yes, uh, you've got to collect nine tokens when the promotion is running. You may still get information on sun holidays, though, uh, on the Internet. I think if you type in sun holidays or something like that, um, you'll get an answer there. OK, uh, we've got another call coming in. Uh, but, but, uh, mobile phone. Hello. Who's that, please? Hi, it's Danny. Hello, Danny. All right. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Very well. Good. I just thought I'd uh, comment on a few things that you've been saying. Yes. Um, the Kingdom Karaoke was absolutely hilarious. You enjoyed that, did you, darling? We'll be I doing would, lots more I of would... those, hopefully. Lots more of those. <laughs> well, I would like to come and do one. Well, well, you're welcome to. You're welcome. I'll have to take a trip down to Wales for that. Oh, it's a long way, dear. A very, very long way. It's not that far. It depends how often you have to stop. Yeah, well, I don't stop usually on a journey. I just keep going until I there. I soldier through. Land of hope and glory. <laughs> We've only got hope left, I think. Anyway, yes, carry on. Um, the new, the new house um, that you that you mentioned earlier on in the in the call yes. uh, in the video. Uh, it's a room. Oh, right, yeah. And yeah. it's in a house, and it's all in for, for £300. Is that Wi-Fi as well? Yep. Wi-Fi, electric, gas, all in £300. Oh, that sounds pretty good then to me. Yeah, I don't know what the prices are in um, in in sort of where you are, but um, that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, it's... I, I, I moved, Well, I got the keys yesterday. Right. I haven't officially moved all my things in as of yet. That's today. I've got all that big, massive stretch to do. Yes. I hate moving. It's one of the... Oh, it's, what, it's one very, of my very... Bears. One of the most stressful things you could possibly do, move. I've only really done it once. I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm trying to look at my screen because, unfortunately, I've clicked a wrong button now and I... <laughs> The blooming messages are... We'll have to finish soon anyway. Um, I only really moved properly once from my flat in Wandsworth to the house where I am now in Bracknell in Berkshire. I did, of course, move out of Mum's to my flat in, mm. in, in Wandsworth. But I did that gradually, you know. So one day I took over something. Next day I took over something else. So it took me a while. I've only done it once where you chuck everything in a blooming big van. Oh, it's awful. It is so stressful. And don't think you can set yourself a time. Don't think, oh, well, by six o'clock I'll all be in and up and ready. By ten o'clock you're still doing it, you know. Have yeah. you moved many times, Danny? Well, obviously, when I was at Haven, I used to move quite a lot with work. Mm. Um, and then I've, because I've worked up and down the country and I've moved all around the area and things yes. like that. So moving's just like a, a normal day to me. Right. But it's right. just the whole stress of just putting it, it in the very, van very and stressful doing driving it, it and then yeah. picking it all out again. Yeah. So it's like a bed and then TVs mm. and then all the essentials and stuff Never like that. Never mind. So well, you're You'll soon get to it. You'll soon get to it. I did notice that uh, your constituency held your conservative seat. Well, which I think is probably down to me, actually. You know, I think I think people, you know, people generally in the area, they do know me quite well in here. You know, when I'm going around supermarkets, it takes me two or three hours because people want to stop and talk to me all the time. What be me being the local television star? around here and personality. And um, they were asking me who I voted for. And I would say to them, well, I'll be voting Conservative. And then they say, oh, oh, well, we will as well then. So I think that is down to me, to be honest, Danny. An influence. Could you see me perhaps as the next Prime Minister? 
I could, actually. I was just about to say that. You'd make a great politician. Thank you. Do you think so, lovey? Because, I mean, I if people... I think I would vote for you. If, if people don't agree with me, what I would do is have them dragged out of their houses and beaten in the streets. Beat them down in submission. I think that is the way to go. Bring back corporal punishment, is it? Oh, yes, <laughs> definitely. I'm very, very willing to grab these robbers and burglars and murderers. They need to be taken out into Trafalgar Square. A large chair will be placed there. They will be told to bend over the, to, to the chair, put their hands on the chair, and they will be caned. Like I was at school a couple of times. Did you know I was caned at school? I didn't. Yes, twice. No. They wouldn't cane me after that. I actually started asking for it to happen. Can I go downstairs and be caned, please, miss? <laughs> <laughs> I know someone that does that and gets paid for it, you know. They go... <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do this first? Or That's what we need to do. Us? We need to drag peoples out of the houses and you will vote and do what you're told. There's too much liberalism in this world. There really is, dear. Well, another thing I noticed... that. Um, oh, was there a your, second comment um, then? I, I've been noticing quite a few things. Oh. Um, well, hurry up, because I want to go. The upload radio that you've been doing. Yes, that's on DAB in Wrexham, isn't it? Correct. Yes, it is in Wrexham. Wrexham, um, uh, Liverpool, Chester. Yeah, Wrexham, Chester, Chester, Chester Liverpool. Liverpool. It's on that DA build multiplex. Yes, they, they, it's on three different multiplexes. That one, one in Gloucestershire, and one in South West London and Surrey. It goes on all of them, which I didn't know. I thought you were just booked onto one of them. No, because I listened to it. Oh, it's did you? Really good, actually. It's... Okay. So I might, I might uh, end up on there. When, you could do. I've got all my stuff you could do one yourself. We generally record that. What's the day? It's Friday today, isn't it? We generally record that on on Saturday. On Saturday morning, we do that one now. So on Saturday morning, I do my show as I'm doing it now, and within the show, we record uh, upload radio thing. <clears throat> oh, that's quite good. That's quite good. Well, Danny, good luck with your move. When are you moving? Um, doing it over this weekend. Oh, so. as quick as that. OK, you've got everything in boxes. Everything's pretty much... Well, I've got a few things like the TV won't go in a box. Right. So I've but got, you, like... You're in a room now, aren't you? Yes, I'm in a room now, so I've got to get all my things. OK, so so not, not too much to move then, really, in, in comparison to There's what I mean. 10 I'd... boxes. I'd be here a week trying to move this lot of stuff. There's so much stuff in here. Honestly, there's stuff on shelves in here that hasn't moved for 10 years. I should just chuck it all away, all of it. All of it. All I need is a microphone. That's all I need in my whole house, a microphone and a bed. <laughs> <laughs> and a toilet. <laughs> Thanks for calling in, Danny. All right, darling. Cheers. Take bye care. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Danny calling in from uh, Wrexham in Wales there. Uh, we're going to wrap up in a second, boys and girls. Let's have a look here. Uh, good morning to Adam the Plumber. Adam the Plumber's here. Lines are now closed, boys and girls. All right, lines are closed now because uh, I've got to, I've got stuff to do. Got to get down the bank. Got to rush down the bank and put my wages in, dear. Uh, John Aitken says, I thought you were a bit kinky. Anytime you want a good cane in, just come round here, Jane. Uh, jo John, well, they used to call you Jane anyway, didn't they? I <laughs> think they called you Jane anyway. I've got my bamboo cane there ready. <laughs> For correction, correction. Um, uh, I think that's it, really. Uh, Kevin Webster's with us. Good morning, Kevin. Uh, Ad's there. Hello, Ad. Thanks very much to um, Eric for calling in. And ah, oh, there's Matt. Greetings, Matt. Have you decided what you want me to wear tonight? The are you coming along to the karaoke? I'm not sure if you are tonight, Matt. But if you are, I'll see you down here. All right. Let's do today's birthdays. And then we're going to disappear and let you all cry into your um, uh, uh, cry into your uh, tea with the election results. Oh, I can't get the birth. And nothing's working. There we are. Birthdays. Oh, we've only got five today. OK, happy birthday today to Lee Cobby. Happy birthday, Lee. 34 years old today. Happy birthday, Lee, on this Friday. Uh, happy birthday to David Law. To Joe Tobin. Happy birthday, Joe. To Judy White, 54 years old today. Happy birthday, Judy. I'm 50. We are the same age now, my darling. It's great, isn't it? Going over 40 is fantastic. Going over 50 is even better. 
I can sit here and do anything I want to. Say anything I want. Doesn't matter. I could swear if I want to, but you wouldn't like that, so I'm not going to. My mouth is a little bit bluer when I'm not on the radio or the telly. It is, honestly. And Charlotte White, the lovely Charlotte White, is 23 years old today. So happy birthday, Charlie. Uh, Ch uh, Charlotte, let's do the song. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday Lee, David, Joe, Judy and Charlotte. Happy birthday to you. See? When I've got, got too many birthdays, I can say all the names like that. Isn't that clever? Right, final lot of messages. Just to let you know, boys and girls, tonight it's karaoke tonight. Oh, yes, karaoke each and every Friday. Do join us tonight at Central Station Bar in Wharfdale Road, King's Cross. It starts at 8.30 and finishes at midnight. OK, 8.30 to midnight. Mark, we've done the... the you must have dropped out for a while, Mark. Uh, we did a lot on the election. Just watch back later, OK? Uh, yes, once again, it's karaoke tonight at Central Station every Friday between 8.30 and midnight. And uh, free to come in, and it's a wonderful night. Come and sing us a song or two, okay? Final lot of messages then. Uh, oh, Adam's coming along to the karaoke tonight. I hope you can see a little bit of weight loss. In fact, I've got a shirt on today that I haven't been able to wear for months. And it's almost done up. I won't lie to you, there is a button at the bottom, not on my bottom, at the bottom of the shirt that is open because it was a little bit uncomfortable. But I can at last, last do it up now. All right, the Slimmer's World's going very well. I've not had any sins at all, as far as I know, this week. Uh, last night, I did uh, one of the recipes from that lovely book you bought me, Adam. Uh, chili beans. Chili beans. Oh, my God, it was delicious. And I, and I had uh, wholemeal rice with it, done in water, which is a free food as, you, as well, you know. Quite a lot of it, I've got to say. Um, probably a bit too much. Now, I don't know... Although it's free foods, can you overeat on those? That I'm going to ask Linda. Perhaps uh, I'll ask Linda. By the way, you haven't, you, oh, you've had a weigh-in this week, Adam, but you haven't said much. Does that mean you might have put a little bit back on again? doesn't matter if you have. You can sort it out next week, can't you? All right, so, yes, a chilli bean dinner I did last night with rice. And I've, I did quite a lot, so I've got that again this afternoon when I've uh, been to the bank and been swimming as well. So there we are. Uh, Gustav says, for God's sake, wear something fashionable. This is fashionable. What are you chatting about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Paul Nuttall has resigned as UKIP leader. Oh, well, I mean, why are they carrying on? They've, they've done what they... Well, I'm not so sure now. Dear me. But we are, we are in an absolute mess in this country now, I'm afraid. A real mess. And um, I can see another election in the autumn. I know you're sick of them now, aren't you? I can see another election in the in the autumn. We'll see what happens. Uh, Adam put a pound on. Oh, well. But do you know how you put that pound on, Adam? That's the thing. If you do, then that's fine. I'd, I'd be worried if I put weight on and didn't know how I did it. You know? I'd be worried. But I bet you know how you put it on. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you very much for watching and listening, boys and girls. Uh, another show, hopefully, at some time tomorrow. You have a lovely Friday night, and I hope to see some of you down there at Central Station tonight. Bye-bye now.